Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, what a journey we have made uh, with this question paper that uh, we are busy with doing the revision. Um, please get hold of this question paper if you want to follow what I'm doing. Uh, we have done the take on balances, we have done the processing of the supplier invoices, we have done the processing of the returns to the suppliers. We have done the processing of uh, buying of the non-stock through the supplier journal and then also the return to the suppliers where we're buying the non-stock through the suppliers allowances journal. We have also done the, uh, the buying uh, of the customers through the tax invoices. And in this video, I will be doing the returns that was, that was made by the, the, the customer. So uh, I'm going to work on on pastel and then I'm going to go to process uh, customers. We are still busy with this company called Voni. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're busy with the tax invoices and we created about three of them, cash sales, uh, Moara Peters and, and Lamini Z. So if you continue with the question paper that we are busy with on page 12, uh, item number 11, it will tell you that uh, we need to, uh, Zanele or Zain Lamini uh, made a return uh, of some of the items that uh, he bought from the business. So it means now we need to do the credit notes. So you must change your document to a credit note and then we activate the customer, uh, Lamini Z. And then... Um, Remember, the instruction said uh, you must make sure that the customer's information appears on the document. So I'm going to do that again. Zain Lamini. And um, 24 Main Street. And car 2. And then 8446. Okay, then I'm going to tap to the date because the period is right. When are we returning? Or oh, when is the customer returning? On the 26th of March. Then here we need to put the original invoice number. And the, invo the original invoice number will be in your printouts. So you must look for that printout of that customer. In this case, it was this uh, printout. So, um, uh, yes, this was Zain Lamini, and then the reference number is TI003. So, this is the uh, number that you are going to put there under original uh, name or original invoice number. So, it's, it's TI003. Then we tap uh, to the discount. Was this customer given a, a, a trade discount? Yes, there was a trade discount, so you must put it back. And then you go to the lines where you indicate uh, what the customer returned. It returned two moisture boost. And then uh, the quantity, there were two. And uh, we need to indicate uh, what's wrong with them. So we need to activate the remark. We need to activate the remark. Uh, and then we need to zoom in there and indicate what is wrong with this item that the company, I mean, the customer is returning. So it's going to be wrong uh, delivery address. Once we have put in that information, you must press tap on your keyboard and then you must select. Remember, you can put the reason of the return here or you can put the reason of the return here. So it means if I want to put it there, I will say, uh, I will quote the code of the product and then I will indicate that what's wrong with the product is wrong uh, delivery address. You don't have to do both. You have to uh, choose which one are you compatible with. So once we are done with this, only this item was written, you can go to the next document and then it will be printed. Uh, in the PDF, I will just save it there as CRE CRE01. 
and then I'm going to check uh, what it's going to look like when it's printed on the paper. This is how it's going to look like. Okay, so this is the end uh, of this uh, lesson. It was just a short lesson on the returns uh, by the customers. If you find this video helpful, uh, please subscribe on my channel and please like my videos. Thank you.